So we're going to have the ninth round. Here, Andorra versus Greece. And Andorra, of course, 1 0 up. So I don't know about you, I mean, you can argue Andorra were perhaps lucky uh, in the first map. They played very well, but Dust 2 is a map that, well, they do say it's a mixer's map. Inferno is going to require much more experience. So, do you think Andorra will carry on and upset the Greeks, or do you think the Greeks could very well pull a comeback? I mean, they had tons of time before they went live. I don't know if they patched something up with their comms, you know, with the overextending, things like that, because they are some uh, major problems. So, um, it looks like they're taking CT side first. So, we won't exactly see that till the next half, I assume. Uh, but I think the Greeks will. I think the Greeks will be fine, honestly. But like we said, Andorra did cause an upset uh, in the beginning of the uh, bus game. So yeah, hopefully the Greeks now they've warmed up and can start living up to what they were touted at as in the favourites. But if we see an Andorra upset again, then uh, I don't think any of us will complain. Oh, the Greeks are peaking second mid. Andorra pushed right down there. Semmer's going to shoot with that silence USP. A lot of damage dealt, but no one's died just yet. And Soldier, well, <laughs> he's going to be in for the fright of his life as uh, all these terrorists rush into this bomb site. So Canillo and him are throwing the flashes out. Flashes left, right, and center. Nades left, right, and center. Babinho is trying to take down Canillo. But Babinho finally gets those two kills, and the bomb needs to go down on that smaller B bomb site now. There it is. So Babinho already with two kills. He's going to throw that flash up there. And the CTs, they need to rotate now. They need to kill these terrorists on the bomb site and start defusing that bomb. Babinho and SMNF all on that relatively low HP. So El Guardia is going to start pushing. SMNF is going to take down Ordino, trying to push him through tunnels. One versus two. And Babinho gets the hat trick on the lovely pistol round to make it 1 0 to the Greeks. Yeah, when it when it came to that 3v3, to me that looked like uh, anyone's round. But um, the CTs decided to book up and uh, go in, go, let's get these frags quick, let's end this round, let's get the advantage now. And they kind of slipped up there, lost uh, a, a player before the uh, rush had even started. And of course Inferno is slightly more CT sided, so... You know, the more rounds, the better. But the CTs are going to push right out onto Banana. Canilla will get that first frag, and he's going to run away. But unfortunately, couldn't save his teammate from the death he endured, thanks to SMNF's MP7. So Babinho, with that Galil, will take down Ordino, and the CTs, two men down already. Of course, no one's expecting Andorra to win this. They do have the weapon disadvantage, and they're going all the way to that smaller B bomb site. Canillo only on 29 HP. Gonna spot one, they know he's there. Down he goes, thanks to Chuck. Looking at El and Sam pull out the bag. Down goes the bomb. And the CTs, they're both rotating through ruins. And they're gonna have to say hello to SMNF. No, it was Frizito actually. And uh, Babinho and Frizito deal with them very well. Typical eco bash, exactly what we expected from Greece. 2 0. Yep, you said it. Exactly what we expected. So again, on paper, Greece should really increase their tally to three rounds now. They, of course, have the SMGs, they have the bigger weapons. And, well, I think that's SMNF with that lovely AK on his back as well. TSAC with his own bit of AK action as well. So, on paper, we should be seeing a Greek victory. Of course, if Andorra were to win this round, then it would be considered a massive upset on their be behalf. So Chuck is going to start pushing Banana Soldier. is just there to the... T to their right. Oh, he's going to pop out. Who's going to get the first kill? It's going to be Mr. Chuck and SMNF getting in on the action as well. So Chuck and SMNF taking full advantage of the fact that Andorra are on Ecos and taking control of that smaller B bomb site. Ordino, however, had something else in mind. He did take down Babinho. Now the CTs are going to start rotating. They're one man down. There are a few weapons down as well. Zemmer's going to take down Pro Boom through the smoke, however. SMNF returns the kill onto Guaje. Zemmer, well, he's all by himself trying to retake this uh, smaller B bomb site. Ordino doesn't look like he's uh, in the mood to help at the moment. He's got that Galil 
in his uh, hand, so he's probably going to do the sensible thing and save. He's probably not looking at the relevant place at the moment. He's definitely heard that he's come down banana now, so Prezito making his way down there. Odino will take down one two from Odino. Very good exit frags, but unfortunately couldn't prevent that bomb from going off. 3 0 Greece, and uh, well, one of the Andorans has a free Galil. He's, uh, it looks like he's dropped it for an AK actually. But um, yeah, he played that right, uh, saved, got the two ex exit frags, which after we did expect the Greek win. I was expecting maybe a five man from the Greeks, you know, just to clean up and see what happens in the buy rounds. But uh, yeah, well played for Mordino that round. So let's have a look at this CT setup. Casual two on B and uh, three on A, one on Arch, one on the site near, one in at, sorry, and one on the site often looking at quad. So, well, the terrorists look like they fancy going. They look like they're more into this A bomb site at the moment. El Guaje is holding, holding that angle up mid. Of course, oh, he spotted the back of one of the terrorists and he's going to get pushed now. He's going to, of course, use that flash to his advantage and could peek out. Zem is going to get first blood onto Pro Boom. Sack returns the kill. Four on four. SMNF is trying to fake the B push, I think. And draw some flashes and smokes and needs out of the CTs and, of course, perhaps prevent them from rotating towards that larger A-bomb site. Despite the fact that he looks to be rotating himself. No, Babinho's rotating himself. And it looks like they could, the Greek team, push this smaller B-bomb site. They've done it for the past few rounds and it's paid off for him. And here we go then. So, Chucks is going to make his way into the... Definitely hears M4 bullets coming from somewhere. Camilo's going to get that first frag. Soldier gets a second one. Frazito will take El Guaje though. And Canillo gets his second onto the score sheet. And gets the hat trick as well. Simple stuff from uh, Andorra. They held the bomb site well. And I think what gave them that round was the fact that they kept two on the smaller B bomb site and didn't no one rotated too yeah, early. Yeah. Well, Soldier was out in the open, I don't know if you saw. Three terrorists, I it might have been two, two or three terrorists shooting at him. None of them hit him. And then they did get caught up by the crossfire. Soldier, uh, I think he got away with that. So, of course, after losing that round, the Greeks are on an eco. So, let's see where they're going to go. Frazito and Chuck making their way up through lower apps. Here we go then, we're going to see a quick quad push, Ordino's uh, already going to get that frag, and uh, well, you know he's there, Ordino with his second. Three versus four, now Ordino is surrounded by terrorists, but Babinho will take him out, but is that frag going to be enough to give him control of this B-bomb site? Gemma has to pull his own, oh lovely shot from Gemma, the one USB, and Soldier takes out the trash from behind, 3-2, and... Fair play to Andorra. They lost the pistol round. They went three rounds down, but they're evening things up. And we're, well, we're still seeing a solid Andorra side. Yeah, definitely. They're just shrugging the Greeks off right now. Like that, that one US shot was, uh, it was, it was a nice shot, really. But it was like, it was as if he just shrugged him off. He said, "You know what? You're on my side. Oh look, you're not anymore." And that's the way it should be at this level. So first blood from El Guaje and uh, Xema again on the score sheet as well. No idea where this is happening. It looked like they pushed second mid and took the Greeks by surprise. And of course that meant the Greeks, they were on a full buy round. It means that they've lost not one but two AK-47s. So Chuck just making noise at Banana. Babinho taking his time in apps. They've got a full minute to go, more or less. But the fact that Pro Boom has that AWP. I always say this, but the AWP is just its so big and heavy, it's not very versatile, especially when, well, you're two men down like this, you need AKs, you need to get right in the faces of the bomb sites, but Pro Boom could prove me wrong here, ooh, he knows that El Guadje's on arch, he's going to get shot at, missed that shot, well, it looks like a lost cause for Greece at the moment, surely they're not going to go for this and try and get the bomb down, surely it's a better choice to just go back to spawn and save their weapons, but Bino, He's so close to a few CTs at the moment. He's pulled that knife out and oh, he's going to get shot at from one of those CTs. And the terrorists, they're, they're falling back. 
Babino's gonna pop out of there. Odino took Pro Boom down. Babino, it's a game of cat and mouse. Babino with one, two from Babino. But with 10 seconds to go, despite getting two lovely kills, it's most certainly not gonna be Greasy's round. But if Babino does manage to save this AK, I don't think he'll complain too much. And uh, Andorra spoke too soon. Andorra no, 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 have it 3 3. I mean, uh, Chuck, it's the same again, like his last round, I mean, he, he has some really unnecessary picks, and unfortunately he's always finding himself in the size of an AWPA, and you, you can't crouch around a corner like that, which is so easy to hold of this far, you know? And it just sets up the take, you know, it, they just lose the flow. So Greece are making their way up, Banana now, they're going to spot one of them, they of course have P250s, down goes the first player, thanks to TSAT, Canillo's going to pop out, two man from Canillo, is he going to get that third? No he's not, but Zemma is rotating now, and uh, he's got some uh, injured Greeks to deal with, Pro Boom, the last Greek left standing, and of course he has to pick up that bomb to his bottom right, but El Guadje is going to finish him off thanks to that up, 4-3, and despite being 3-0 down, Andorra... They pulled it back to 4-3. Yep, good hold from the CTs. Canillo, he, he had a nice hold there. Waiting for each third and faced the curse of the M4 silenced. Uh, the, you know, the 20 magazine, around magazine count. And uh, yeah, it doesn't really help in situations like that where you have to hold such a choke point, you know. It's really hard to, it's really hard to get uh, quite a lot of kills with one magazine with that weapon. So, Greek are in second mid, just sparring, shooting at a few walls, hoping to deal a bit of damage, but Andorra, they're playing more defensive this round. Of course, we did see that last round where, well, not the last round, the round before that, to be fully exact, where they did push Aps and get two kills onto the terrorists, but not this time. They're playing it slightly different. So, Ordino, we've seen him play Aps very, very well. Doesn't seem interested. Oh, he might have found a change of heart. Soldier, ooh, I think he just... Hit Pro Boom in the leg there, but they know that there are terrorists are rushing into this bomb site now. What can TSAC do? Bino's gonna come around the corner and finish Camillo off. Being four versus four. All the terrorists will be looking to get this bomb down, but Sold is holding lovely angles there. The shot onto Frazito Zemma coming round and taking down the terrorist at tree. And Babinho and Pro Boom, despite getting that kill, they're both on four HP. The nades are gonna go right towards that bomb site. And where is Pro Boom? Is he going to live to uh, fight another day? The answer to that is no. As Gemma finishes him off, and we see him round number five for Andorra. I mean, uh, Chuck had a, like I said about his peaking, but he actually used it to his advantage there. But because uh, he baited out the orb shot. So, sorry, no, it wasn't him, but he was peaking, and his friend baited out the orb shot so he could tell where the orb was. Smoked the CT. Uh, wasn't sure what went on after that because you went all Stephen Hawking on me there, mate. And, uh, I was Did more I? focused on myself. I like, thought I was like, lagging, but <laughs> I thought it was Go TV lagging. It could be me. Yeah, my internet is playing. Yeah. But it doesn't matter for now. So five versus five. I can confirm I am Kynite, not Stephen Hawking at the moment. Hopefully not Stephen Hawking. <laughs> anyway, his best first blow onto Pro Boom. Thanks to that man right there, El Guaje. They're making their way right into this B bomb site. They bloody like this B bomb site, don't they? Canillo with two. So where's Canillo then? You know, the last man standing now. Two versus one. He hasn't got the bomb down just yet, and for some reason, I have no radar on the top left of my screen. But despite that, we're going to carry on. So 28 seconds and counting. No idea where the bomb is. But despite that, Fabinho has a rough idea where Zemma is. And Zemma's going to get round number six on the board, and we see in Andorra. They're playing very, very good Counter-Strike at the moment. And well, they did win on Dust too. They of course took the hard way out of it by uh, playing poorly, resulting in overtime. But they did pull it back in overtime, so fair play to them. And the question now is, are we going to see something similar here on Inferno? So. The train of terrorists making their way towards Banana now, and Canillo's going to have a lot of work to do. Can he do it efficiently? Soldier with Canillo, a brilliant team. Three man from Canillo, pulled his pistol out and finished Chuck off 7-3. At the moment, Greece, well, they look like a lost cause. They're going to buy up now. We need to see something different from them. 
They've already got three rounds on what's the CT-sided map, but three is not going to be enough. They need at least a good four or solid five rounds if they are going to stand a chance. And oh dear, look where the bomb's gone. The Greeks have lost the bomb, ladies and gents. So, how are the Greeks going to pull this one out of the bag then? Proboom looking towards Banana. The Greeks, of course, have no bomb. Because uh, they threw it in the haystack, and they can no longer reach the haystack to get it. Well, Dino's boosted himself above quad, and Zemmer stood right below him. So, if the Greeks decide to push quad, well, they'll be in for one heck of a surprise. And they could very well decide to push quad. Of course, the Greeks, because they've got no bomb, they need to take out all five counter terrorists if they are to win this round. SMNF is going to try and contribute to that before dying thanks to Ordino and Proboom is going to take out an Ordino, sorry, is going to take out Proboom so pretty nothing to get excited about stuff really well we said Greece they need to stand up, they need to change things around but well they threw the bomb in the haystack and you're not going to win rounds when you have no bomb or when you're throwing bombs in haystacks it's as simple as that, you need the bomb to plant on a bomb site to protect and win a route. You can of course take out all five CTs but the Greeks haven't been very successful at doing that. So they're all near Banana. Let's go and have a look at one of the CTs who's going to have to deal with them in Canillo. So this trade of terrorists are making their way into this bombsite now. Canillo with one soldier getting on the score sheet as well. Canillo's going to fall back two up shots from soldier. And Canillo, he's going to spot Frazito, but Frazito's going to get that frag. Solder with a three-man. Can he make it four? Yes, he can. Low scope from Solder. And the four-man from him. And any Andorians watching, be proud of that, because that is how you AWP with a big green gun. So 9-3 to Andorra. The Greeks have bought up, surprisingly. They can afford it. El Guarje, however, is going to get first pick. I mean, the Greeks aren't putting any smokes down at mid. It looks like they've already given up. They know El Guarje is open mid, or they should do, because he's done it round after round after round. And despite that, they keep running down mid and getting picked off with his orc. I mean, it's a lost cause, really. They've tried to push this B bomb site without any proper smokes without any proper flashes and the CTs are going to win every time if you're going to try and take this B bomb site this A bomb site you've got to put smokes down you've got to throw flashes over the buildings and you've got to throw nades and at this rate Greece are doing none of that and of course with Amico in this round on paper we should see Andorra 11-3 and if Greece don't win that next round well we're gonna see 12-3 to the underdogs in Andorra and to be frank it hasn't been good enough from Greece whatsoever so talking about being careless that's a prime example of the Greeks being careless Frazito there dying thanks to Zemmer but they are gonna get two kills apiece though so let's see what's gonna become of this Pro Boom is gonna get taken down by El Guaje who's gonna level things up and make it three on three SMNF in second mid, Babinho in apps, and Chuck, well, he's near quad, not anymore. He's been sent back to T-spawn, thanks to Canillo's M4. With it being three versus two, the Greeks, well, they can arguably still pull this one off. Correction, SMNF can argu arguably, perhaps, still pull this one off. And after speaking too soon, he falls to his oh, death. Yeah, Welcome back. Yeah, I'm back. Sorry about that. Welcome back. Um, I did catch that round. Yeah, cheers. 11-3? Uh, 11-3, <laughs> yeah. Three, yeah. Well, it hasn't been good enough from the Greeks. It's as simple as that. They've been... They know that El Guarje is open mid every single round. And, well, they're trying to push mid, trying to push quad and arch without any smokes, without any flashes. And, well, they're going to get taken down every time. But despite that, Babinho, it looks like the Greeks might push this larger A bomb site. Chuck definitely wants to do that, so Chuck with a lovely shot onto Ordino, finally sign of intent from the Greeks. Gem, however, wants to stop this, but he's not going to do much anymore thanks to Chuck. So Cantillo, Canillo, sorry, the last man standing with that M4 in between his hands, making his way 
Fists win. Through Arch and Frazito is going to take him down. So 11-4. Greece managed to rescue that round, but I f honestly think this second half is going to be out of their reach, unfortunately. Yeah, 11-4 is very, very capable. I mean, but I'll say it time and time again, Andorra got really overconfident last game. Uh, ended up taking it 15-15, going to overtime. Luckily, they did win 21-19. But um, hopefully they've learned from this and they don't become so overconfident again. I mean, 11-4 is comfortable, but now they're on the tee side, so they're going to feel what Gre Gre Greece just felt. So, only time will tell, really. Definitely, and Andorra, like you said, hopefully they've learned from their mistakes of the past. They're blocking each other towards that door. Prezito's going to get first ball on Tordino, but Zemmer's going to return the kill. So Pro Boom is trying to sneak through that smoke, which of course the terrorist put there. And there's a heck of a load of terrorists. Pro Boom comes around the corner, nails Canillo with that P2000. He knows all the terrorists. Another headshot from Pro Boom, and he definitely knows how to use that pistol. Three from Pro Boom. And he's going to track Soldier down, but Soldier, oh, good shot from him. So Babinho and SMNF, they're going to try and chase him down. The Martov goes in there. Soldier, we're going to have barbecued Soldier tonight. At least the CTs will do if they manage to kill him. And they most certainly did. So 11-5 and uh, a sign of intent from the Greeks, and hopefully they can capitalize on this. But we've said that time after time again. Yep, that's a great, great round for us to win there. So, the Greeks, of course, have the weapons this time. And Andorra, the one who was struggling with the weapons. Danilo's going to run right into Chuck, but oh, he's going to take him down despite that, and he's going to pick up that Famas. Frazito has made his way behind Canillo, he's going to take him out with that Bison. So, four versus three soldiers going to take down Pro Boom, which makes it a three versus three. Kills all over the map at the moment, and all the players, well, the T's played aggro, the CT's played aggro. And at one point we had the uh, terrorists close to a bomb site than the counter terrorists. So El Guardia's managed to pick up an M4 off a dead counter terrorist and he's still on 100 HP. Zemmer's picked up a bison and Soldier, he has a deagle. It's better than nothing. But all the Greeks are on full health. So that could prove to be a brick wall for the Andorians. SMNF, he's got his eye on Arch, he's definitely going to spot one of them, ooh, didn't, didn't hit anyone though. Frazito's going to take down Soldo, oh, directly on the bomb site, Babinho, he's got to get his running shoes on, he's got to rotate, but Frazito don't care. El Guardi has this M4 now, he knows exactly where Frazito is, he's going to nail him, he is going to nail SMNF though. And if Frazito goes down, Frazito will go down, El Guardi, what's three versus one, and it's now one versus one, he has the weapon advantage, he's going to get that bomb down now. Babinho with only an MP7, but more HP and armor compared to his counterparts, El Guardi is going to push him, oh ho ho, well played with the MP7 from Babinho. Definitely saved Greece's bacon there, and we're going to have 11 6. Uh, I'd expect a Greece win because they did win the pistol round. But uh, unfortunately, Andorra didn't. So now they can't afford the full bow, which they are going to do here. So Greece might want to play a bit more passive. I mean, they were on the. Uh, had the Andorra on the back foot, obviously, because they didn't have guns, they did, blah, blah, blah. But they did lose a guy real quick in the out. So. So Pro Boom trying to peek mid there, and El Guarje, who's still on top of the haystack, might have to deal with him, or Dino as well, getting on the score sheet. <laughs> Andorra, they finally got weapons, and despite... Well, sorry, it was actually Andorra got that early frag, my bad about that. So they are two men up now, five versus three. They have the weapons in their hands now, and they're making it count. I know, can they make this uh, two-man advantage count as well? They're going to flash arch, and they're pushing around quad. They're going to have anybody to uh, greet them. SMNF is going to greet someone on Arch. And Chuck is going to greet the others near Quad. So, three versus two. Chuck is making his way down towards Quad. Ordino and Soldo with two kills apiece. Chuck's the last man standing. He's going to take Ordino out. Two versus one. Chuck's already got two kills to his name. He's going to flash the bomb site. He knows exactly where Cardillo is, where Canillo is, sorry. Flipping out these names. 12-6. In Greece, uh, they're definitely pulling it back, or they're trying to, and they did last game. I, I actually think they can pull this and maybe win. 
I'm not sure. I mean, like Andorra getting that with confidence back, you know, the, they all find themselves in positions. Realistically, they can't really win. So the CTs, of course, they are on an eco. They are going to push right down Banana. So Chuck is going to spot one of the terrorists. Unfortunately, with that P2000, they're going to deal enough damage. Babinho, oh, two kills from Babinho. What an eco round from him. But the terrorists have realised that all the CTs have pushed, and they've gone in a completely opposite direction and made their way towards that bomb site. The bomb, of course, is down now. Canelo's going to spot that CT and nail him in the head with that AK-47. And Babinho is the last man standing now. He has two kills already to his name. We know he definitely knows how to use that P250. Are we going to see him use it very well again? Ordino is slowly getting closer to him. And Ordino is going to use that gun advantage to take him out. And finally, another Andorian round on the board. 13-6. And they're getting one step closer to that 16 mark to emerge victorious. Well, I was, uh, I was obviously wrong about what I just said. Uh, I didn't notice that the Greeks were actually, in fact, on an eco round. But, uh, yeah, I mean, and uh, so I've still got to stick by what I said. Don't be too overconfident. I mean, right now, I mean, they just were there and it did pay, uh, pay off. I think they can do it again because I think the CTs are eco again. So, yes, they are. So, yeah, I'm expecting another Andorra uh, round here. Yeah, on paper it should be another Andorra round. Um, well, that'll put them in the driving seat, really. They've already been in the driving seat. It'll leave them on 14 rounds. So the push into this B-bomb site begins. Soldier and Sam are getting a kill apiece. And only Chuck and Frazito left breathing for the CTs. Aldino's going to wait at tree. Down goes Chuck. The question now is where's Frazito if I can find him? Well, he's on the A-bomb site. I think he knows by now. He's got to make his way towards that B-bomb site. Or he could, of course, stay at the bottom of a banana and perhaps try and get an exit for Isaac. Samus sees him, and uh, he really should finish him off. And he does, with a lovely headshot. So 14 rounds for Andorra. They've increased their tally even further. And are we going to see a Greek buy? We are. So what do the yes. Greeks have to do to get round number 7 on the board? Because they need it badly. Uh. I mean, I'm not sure how many AWPers the side have got. I mean, the fan that it, like, because they've got Chuck, I mean, he's found himself peeking against AWPers. I mean, they're about to have a go here, I think, at mid. Uh, but Greece definitely need this round. This is, this is make or break for them right now. So, so does up well. He's already made his way into that smaller B bomb site. There wasn't any resistance, but Bibino finally provided some resistance as he took down Soldier. And Canillo was his teammate, of course, on Banana with the bomb. He, uh, in the bomb back to El Guaje. He's noticed that B is rather dangerous at the moment. But if he does manage to get a frag, then uh, the complexity of it all could uh, completely change. So Greece, a one man up. Ordino is going to throw that flash over towards Arch. And we need to see a push of some sort from the terrorists. 45 seconds to go and they're two men down. Ordino tries to level things up. Beautiful counter-strike from Ordino. Came around the corner, took one. 90 degree turn and took down the other. And he's almost leveled things up for the Andorians. T-Sack is hiding in that smoke. He's going to get spotted. He's going to take down Ordino. And great ninja play from T-Sack. Saves the round for Greece. 14-7. I mean, that's not a spot I, uh, I do see people in there, but I wouldn't really advise it, you know, with a, because he almost did die, but the, the first terrorist didn't, uh, kill him somehow, so, uh, I kind of cost him that round. So, despite losing a round, the Andorians were still bought up, and this was the point on Dust 2 where it looked like the Andorians were in the driving seat, and then they went a bit complacent and gave it all away back to the Greeks. And uh, they did win again in overtime, but I'm sure the Andorians would want to try and prevent that as much as they can. Lovely warbang from Ordino. I don't know if you saw that, but well played by him. Took down Pro Boom to level things up. So four versus four now. El Guaje for a change, no longer has an AWP and has an AK. So let's see what he can do with it. Not very much at the moment is the answer to that question. So Ordino in boiler room. He's going to push quad. No CTs are playing arch closely. 
Well, the CTs have spotted Ordino, and the smoke is going to go out. So where are the Greeks going to... For there are the Andorians, sorry, going to go now. Definitely try and avoid wherever Sol do it. Because he fell to his death. Brazito also takes down El Guaj with a lovely fast shot. Canillo orp in for the Andorians. He's going to get pushed. He's going to pull off the shot nevertheless. So three versus two. 14-7. 25 seconds to go, just about. Ordino is going to push Arch. Of course, one of the CTs is still looking at that smaller B-bomb site. T-Sac on 82 HP and SMNF on 48, holding that larger bomb site where the terrorists are right now. No noise being made whatsoever by the counter terrorists. Oh, there's a little bit of noise. Oh, and Ordino is going to catch Rosita red-handed and gets the team kill there from Canillo. That's exactly not what the doctor ordered. And the time ran out, and ooh. I'm not sure how we pulled off that team kill, but. <laughs> it's well, uh. It was just bad luck, really. I mean, he's lost the money now. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be on an eco NAS for, for him. And uh, yeah, it wasn't very helpful. I mean, it was 2v2, it was looking good. They were on the bomb site. But the team kill, you lose, I think, 3,000, which is an AK, and then. Find yourself 2v1, it's not very helpful. So the train of terrorists now making their way towards Banana. SMNF with the hat trick is gonna pull the pistol out. Is it gonna get the fourth? He's running after him with a knife. And <laughs> there's the four man from SMNF. <laughs> Terrific stuff from him. It was an anti eco, but the knife at the end deserves a round of applause. Well played, SMNF. Yep, you're right. Yeah, it was a standard eco bash, really, but it was well held from him, yeah, definitely. 14-9, and again we're seeing a repeat of what we saw on Dust 2. Are the Andorans going to give it away again? They are on another eco, so we should see 14-10. And, well, the Greeks are getting too close for comfort now. Are we going to see a repeat of what we saw before? Rosito definitely wants that to happen. First blood onto Canillo. But the rest of these terrorists, bar one of them, on near this B-bomb site. And they're gonna scare Babinho now. They're making their way into the bomb site. SMNF is there to try and help. We saw his four-man last round. Is it gonna get something similar to from SMNF? And one more Andorian standing. But Frazito is gonna finish off. And the Greeks are getting closer to that 14 mark. Are we gonna mm -hmm. see another overtime? Exactly the same thing. Exactly the same thing happened last game. Andorra found themselves way too split up, out of position, peaking peaks like they shouldn't be peaking, you know, find themselves in situations they just realistically can't win. I mean, and it is costing them rounds. They've kind of blacked out again, like I said last game, and in two or three more rounds they're going to go, those guys were one round away from losing the game. Definitely, and I think Zemmer heard you there, landed that lovely AK-47 headshot onto Pro Boom. In up, so Andorra, can they capitalise on this one-man advantage? Dino, we've seen what he can do with that AK-47. He's a very good player, but Chuck has something else in mind. Down, Ordino goes. And he's going to have a few more coming his way now. Chuck is going to peak quad, but he's going to fall to his own death. Only one CT left on this A-bomb site, and that CT is Frazito with only a FAMAS. FAMAS versus AKs. We know who our winner's going to be, and it's going to be the AKs. So the bomb's going to go down, and are we going to see match point now forced from Andorra against Greece? Babinho and SMNF, the CTs left standing, they're gonna move through the smoke with M4s. Now goes Babinho, nope. SMNF is making a lot of noise, they know where he is, they definitely know where he is now, he's gonna take Zemo down. He's on 2 HP himself, and uh, bye bye SMNF, and welcome round number 15 for Andorra. That was uh, entirely expected. But SM, SN, sorry, SMNF did uh, quite a bit of damage. I know he only got the one pick, but they kind of like panicked over him there. I mean, the guy from Pitt should have had him a split second after yeah. that first pick, but he did ask the guy on site to help him. I mean, so, so Greece is still definitely a threat here. And Dora finally got our 15 round. But the Greeks, well, we know what the Greeks are made of. They're not going to go down without a fight. Nor is Sol Durs. He takes on both Pro Boom and T-Sac. But Zemma is the last man standing for the Andorra. He's being pushed from all angles now. He's going to try and take down 
Frizzito. Like a mid. Is he going to do it? He's done it successfully, and he's anticipated that both Babinho and SMNF are going to be on banana. Reason for that being the bomb's on banana. So, Zimmer's going to throw that smoke there. He's also going to throw a flash. He's just going to say, right, let's suicide push this and uh, hope for the best. <coughs> Talking about hoping for the best, Babinho put off a uh, lovely shot through the smoke. 15-11. Wow, this is getting close, and uh, I think I'm going to start sweating oh, yeah, on behalf yeah, of the Andorians. I honestly think this is an over overtime. You think this is an overtime, or isn't an overtime? I think it will go to overtime. You, it will be? Okay, well, let's see. I think I think the Andorians are going to pull it out of the bag just about. They're not going to make it look easy. They, of course, are on the eco now. There's a first. No, it wasn't a pick, actually. There's a pick, finally, from Pro Boom and his AWP. So, Andorians only four. They're going to push right towards Arch. Now, Probum's in for the fright of his life. He missed two shots. You can't miss a lot of shots like that. He missed a hat trick of shots. And Andorra using those pistols at their best at close quarters. SMNF and Prozito, however, rotating. Two kills apiece for both of them. And Greek, well, the Greece, sorry, they live to fight another day. 15 12. Andorra going to buy up. They've got to stay calm. They're so close to finally emerging victorious. What do they need to do? Um. Honestly, they've tried. This game, they've tried, it, it looks like they've tried everything. Yeah. And it was the same last game, and just Greece are so formidable, you know. That, that I see what you're trying to say. There's Rosito's played aggressively here in apps and wow, he shouldn't have risked that. Now he's given Andorra something to build on. There's no CTs in apps. Chuck is going to have to back up for him. Oh, he's been dinked to 3 HP himself and it, he just stood still there with his knife out as if he was admitting defeat to the Andorian player. So one minute to go, Andorra, Andorra is so close to emerging victorious now. It's just... It, it's only a matter of time, surely. 15-12, one more, and they emerge victorious in this second map. They won the first map on Dust2. They've rotated all the way from B towards A. Chuck, of course, only on 3 HP. Is he going to get a kill? He is. So perhaps if he dies now, it won't be too bad. He's going to flash the Andorans. Two from Chuck, three from... No, it was only two from Chuck. Proboom got that orb shot. Now, Canillo is the last man standing for Andorra. What can he do? Three versus one. I think we saw Canillo pull off a clutch earlier on. So he's going to use that flash and flash whoever's in pit. 25 seconds to go. He has to pick up the bomb, which is, of course, in front of him. The pro boom is going to take him out. Surely, surely Andorra aren't going to let it go now. We're getting one step closer. But every time they look like they're getting one, one step closer, they go two steps back. Yeah, yeah. It looks like they're on an eco now, but Canelo is, in fact, bought an AK. And, I mean, they, they found themselves in a 5 versus 3. And I was looking at the minimap, and only one, uh, it was Babino, still on B. I would have taken it B, if I was uh, Andorra there. Yeah, I was quite surprised by the fact that they rotated back as well. Talking about Canelo buying that AK, it leaves him on only $450 now. So, if Andorra lose this round, then, well... You know, he might not be able to buy him that only for the 15th round, which might see us go back to uh, overtime. So, 3 versus 2, or Dino levels things out to 2 versus 2. He was, of course, an eco from Andorra, but they're getting that bomb down, which uh, is the plan they wanted. So, good shot from Canillo, and it's only a matter of time now, surely. Babinho's pushing round quad. He's going to use that flash. Ordino is tagged, but he does have the AWP, and we know what he can do with it. The nade's going to go out there. Surely it's going to kill Ordino. No, he deals no damage whatsoever. He knows they're both in pit. He's going to put that smoke out on top of the bomb. He's going to try and pick someone. He's going to take down Ordino. He's going to look for that last terrorist. Uh. And Andorra, finally, they don't do it easy, but they've won this. And the underdogs, Andorra, have not just <laughs> beaten Greece with one map, but two maps. Well played, Andorra. <laughs> By the skin of their teeth. Yeah, I I've not seen a... The first game, I've never seen a uh, game go to the wire that much. And to top it off, the, uh, <laughs> the Ghost TV goes down on the last round.